Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Carpo again. I was gonna say people say the dumbest things, but kids say the cutest things, and the two are distinguishable by the fact that uh, supposedly adults are supposed to know better. But I was thinking about the cool things the kids say because my kid said something last night that just blew my mind, and uh, I was thinking about how when kids are young, we teach them respect one another, share, be good to people, be a good person. And then when we get to a certain age, it's like, okay, well, that's just for kids. Like, we abandon these principles. And uh, likewise, we abandon some of the questions we asked as kids about the universe and about the world and about life. And um, it's fascinating if you have children. I have three kids, you know, and, and one's 18, and he's just graduated high school, and he's going on to do his thing, and he's a great kid, and I hope my other two turn out just as good as him. And, uh, you know, when they say things that are just out of the blue, you know, I, I got this book because I wrote down one of the quotes that he'd said before, my son Emerson, when he was just turned three, and uh, we were sliding on these pillows, and I said, uh, I said, I wish I was little again so I could slide on the pillows too. And he said, you've got to go to the hospital and get little again. And I said, no, you can't get smaller, only big, bigger. And he said, he paused for a moment and said, you got to eat smaller foods and get little again. It's so cute, right? You know, but, you know, it sounds dumb if an adult said that. You can't eat smaller foods and get smaller. But if you're a big person, I guess you could eat less food and get smaller. You know, there's always a different way to look at it. Uh, but last night we were laying there and uh, looking up at the stars on this mattress outside. And uh, he says, he said, how do, he said, the sun, how does, how do stars talk? I said, I don't know. How do stars talk? And he said, they talk with their gases. I mean, he's really smart. He knows a lot about space. We, I, I love space, and I'm fascinated by everything sun. Um, so I said, they do. I just cracked me up. And then he says, the sun talks to the earth with its gases. And I mean, it just blew me out of the water. I was like, God, this kid's a genius, you know? Of course it does. That's the voice of the sun, the voice of God, you know? In his, in his eyes, you know? That's the sun talking to the earth, photons. It's an amazing thing, you know, and kids pick it all up. It was funny, because he said something today to my wife, and she says uh, that he had some peas and some sugar, and this isn't, you know, anything insightful, but we were picking peas from the garden. He loves to harvest them when they're ripe. And so he pulled them out and he said, I love peas. And he said, and I love sugar. And he thought about it and he said, I like sugar a lot. It gives me a lot of energy and it makes my eyes open really wide all day long. And my wife said she just cracked up laughing and he said, Mom, I'm not joking. <laughs> And, uh, you know, when a kid says something like that at age three, it just blows your mind. So, you know, it's like when adults say something, it's not quite so cute. But, uh, you know, we can ignore the adults because they're really not worth much time if, uh, if they can't figure stuff out. But, uh, anyway, I got, I, I, I've got to get some of these things written down as they happen because uh, they're the funniest damn things. And, and, and I'm, I've been thinking about that all day long, that the sun speaks to the earth with its gases. Like, it's been in my head since the time I went to bed till I just, you know, I got home from work. I'm still thinking about it. It's like, it doesn't seem like much to the average person, but to me, you know, it's, it's a very insightful thing. You know, a lot of people talk about kids, how they remember past lives and stuff. I don't know what to make of all that, but... There are a couple documented cases, especially one of this little little girl or boy, and they kept claiming that they were born somewhere else. And their parents are like, no, no, you're, you know, we're your parents. And they said, no, I was born in this town. When they got old enough, they're like, I was born here. I, I, these are my parents. So they went there and they found the people. And the kid decided he wanted to live with his other parents. He was supposedly reincarnated, but he had this essence, the spirit, whatever, of another person. So who knows how much of that's true. But that's why when my kids say something really insightful, I listen deeply. Because I've had him say stuff like, I was born far away from here, and uh, we used to work in the fields. Stuff like that. And then it'll just kind of fade and go into another subject. It's almost like there's these little residual energies left. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, it could be nothing, but it's pretty interesting. So, uh, kids, they really do say the damnedest things. Peace.